Never know how you feeling, want me to guess Want me to guess How we go from fighting and yelling to sex Hey, it's your girl India Michelle here Back with another video on Four myths men have about women But before we get into it, follow me on Instagram At India underscore underscore Michelle And Snapchat India.94 Now let's get to it Yes, again, excuse the background It's gonna be a bunch of dingy At the beach, whatever background So I'm about to stop saying that shit So, yeah but anyway, myth number one, I'm looking at my iPad, uh, myth number one, the longer you wait, the better chance of you having sex with the woman. That's a myth. Now, to a certain degree, when it comes to like, y'all like, um, certain women might be like, oh, I don't want him to think I'm a hoe. That's the real uh, misconception. Um, well, that's the real reason why women don't really Glor put put too 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 much out uh, about their sexual activities and what they be doing unless you like a city girl or whatever. But we women tend to not want to be too too overly sexual because it's this stigma of women being hoes if you just just having sex with more than a couple of guys. You know what I'm saying? And so, but the reason I said it's the myth about the longer you wait because. In the beginning, when a woman first meets you, automatically she has this fantasy about you. Like, oh, he might be like this. He might be like that. I'm not saying that, you know, she's going to have sex with you on the first night. But within the time you meet her and up to two weeks, nine times out of ten, she's going to have sex with you. Not all, but most women are going to have sex with you. And I'm not saying women don't have, uh, women who have sex on the first night or consider hoes. Because, I mean, it's a lot of women that had sex on the first night but like i said the longer she waits the fantasy goes away the whole oh i i, I want to know is he like this he's like that and the real you come out not saying there's something wrong with being yourself but certain things that she may or may not like about you might hinder you from getting any type of play and might put your ass in the friend zone you know what I'm saying? So it's best to kind of seal the deal. Like I know someone that's sitting here playing games with a female and it's been like a couple of months. It's been past two weeks. And I told him you got two weeks. If you don't hit within two weeks, especially out here, you want you, you want to have a little flame. If you ain't hit within two weeks, nine times out of ten, you're not going to hit. So you might have a couple of females that play that little game. Oh, I just want to be cuffed. Yeah, she's telling you that because she don't want to have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? It might be somebody else that she's uh, really attracted to that she's busting her wide open. It's just something about you. You might be a little too, your talk game might not be all that. There's a lot of those type of niggas out here, especially out here in MFO, Sinai, Egypt. Like, the talk game is just real bland, dry, corny, and just clown nigga shit. And this is like... You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to, let me ride your back just so you can get a girl's attention. Just say what you mean, mean what you say in a cool little way. You ain't got to be too, too blunt, but she'll get what you're saying. And, you know, she's going to bust that little thing up for you. The fuck? <laughs> okay. Tip number two on myths of men have about women. Tip number two, myth number two is women are not sexual until they meet the right man and this also kind of plays into number one everything is all played into each step so women are not sexual until they meet the right one that's a goddamn lie now for instance it's another person that i don't know her personally but and i might be wrong but i'm just gonna say it like this so she's supposed to be um what is it what's the word i can't even think of no, I ain't this. Uh, she's supposed to be celibate. So, and she, you know, she gave her life to God. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's, there's a lot of women that, you know, that change their life for the better. Not saying it has to be a religious thing for you to be celibate, but she's celibate. But the reason I said she's full of shit is because you out here cuddling cuddling up in the bed with somebody but yourself she again just don't want to have sex with his goofy ass and i'm pretty sure and i know this person that came off goofy over overly thirsty and 
his dick is just literally in his hands like the 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 thirst is just coming out your pores how thirsty you are like it's okay that you want to get your dick wet and she might want to get pounded but sometimes men you talk your way out of coochie you sometimes it's okay to of course you want to be open and not too too shy but sometimes men talk too much it's, it has to be like a balance like men either you're talking too much because it's like like on some shit like okay thirsty 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 is doing too much talking you doing too much trying to win the woman over and all you got to do is just again say what you mean mean what you say and sometimes men could talk a little too little like you a little mouse and again closed mouth don't get fed you know what I'm saying? Your your mouth can't get fed with this wet cootie cat if you sitting here acting like a little shy boy, acting like you're 12 years old and you waiting for ready for your mom to come get you up to school from after school care. No. Okay? So you like I said, you have to have that balance, fellas. Okay. Again, it's all about you. You know, women, whether you're overseas or when it's when it's definitely a drought for uh the uh, kick it with somebody on that level see women we have whether it's here overseas or back in the states women we have the advantage over men like dick is in abundance everywhere like it's just i can walk outside and i bet you i can find somebody to fuck a few niggas out here that if i decided to which i don't then a man doing it you know what i'm saying out here is what one female to every 20 men so a chick like me is multiple dudes that's most likely on my body i'm not ugly i got a nice body or whatever you know hair lay you know so when they see somebody like this you know they're like oh who is that compared to a man out here you you within that 25 to that one ratio that one girl that you're trying to holler at you're not the only one about a thousand motherfuckers didn't try to holler at her. So you really got to come correct. You kind of have to be that dude that's, that you have to separate yourself from the thirsty niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what I'm trying to get at. So tip number three about, uh, well, myth number three. Women have this I'm independent bullshit. And I'm going to be a little, a little... It's gonna sound a little fucked up. Usually, that women who say I'm independent, shit is bitches that are ugly in the face. They booger wolves. Don't no woman want to sit here and work for the rest of her goddamn life. Don't no woman. Oh, I get this. I get my money. Uh, on my, I got my money on my own. I ain't need no man for nothing. Child, please. Whether you a celebrity, uh, a thousand now, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Every woman wants to get something out of a man, whether it's in a malicious way or whether it's on some, I'm just trying to get upgraded type shit. You know what I'm saying? Every woman, because let's be honest, if a woman was that damn independent, you wouldn't have females sitting here, oh, I want my man to do this. He need to spend this. I want a Chanel bag. I want him to get my hair done. I want him to pay my phone bills. But you're independent though. If they were so independent, they wouldn't be worried. They wouldn't be worried about the stimulus check. They wouldn't be sitting here and not saying men won't worried about it either. But you get what I'm saying. Like you wouldn't be sitting here worrying about your little section A and then your little food stamps. You'll be out here getting it right. So that's a, a misunderstanding men have about women. I don't know why Neo made that song. What was that like over ten years ago about that? Uh, she got her own. Yeah, it sounded cute for the anthem but that was just a song just like this whole city girls bullshit like oh i'm gonna uh i'm gonna show you bitches how to pimp a nigga ain't no bitch out here pimping shit <laughs> okay some of these females are getting ran through for free then you would sit here and get 300 300 out of a motherfucker unless he's just a trick simp ass motherfucker but okay about to go ahead and end it with this one last little myth Myth number four. Let me go ahead and get this goddamn tablet. Women want a lot of attention. 
yes women you might say oh i want attention from my man i just want to be all I, I just want him all up on me no you don't because after a while that must that mother sucker would get on your nerves more than a little bit just like you would get on his nerve more than a little bit sometimes a man just want to be able to be around his boys you be around your girls you have your long time your peace you know you don't want to be all stuck up on him or whatever or you stuck up on her because again just like when i said something about the thrill you kind even within the relationship you use you lose the thrill of missing your partner you know you kind of want to have that i ain't saying you gotta be long distance but you kind of want to have that space even if y'all stay in the same house and y'all married y'all still want to have that space like you still want you want the relationship to always have that ref, uh, refresh refreshing um vibe about it you know what i'm saying when you always conjoint with each other like siamese twins you're going to get like irritated it's like a damn every time i turn around she's right there every time i turn around he's right there you never have any time to really is you could be with somebody for five years and still have that i'm still getting to know you you know everything you always want to learn your partner not oh i can read this person like the back of my damn hand you know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? Even though this video was really for the, the males, the brothers. But I guess that concludes my video on four myths that men have about women. I hope I explained myself the best way I could. And I know I probably was rambling just a little bit, but y'all be all right. I'm pretty sure y'all got the gist of what I was saying, hopefully. Unless it just went smooth over your damn head. But anyway, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to also leave a comment on the next video that you want. Leave comments how you felt about the video. Like, like, like. Share, share, share. Support a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to follow my social media at Instagram. India underscore underscore Michelle. And Snapchat India.94. I'll be back with another video later on. Bye-bye.